Hello, design champs. It's your boy, Lil Young Kopik, coming at you with the EO4. New album now, out now. Number seven on iTunes. Cop it while you can. <laughs> Hello. Today I have a very big and exciting announcement, so keep watching to the end of the video and I'll describe a little bit about that. Alright, today we're going to work on three things that we've been uh, talking about recently. Number one, I'm going to make some illustration options for the Divergent group for Artweek.com. Uh, number two, I'm going to make some updates to the film logo we made last time for number 29 of the 30 day logo design challenge. And then after that, we'll make like a rat and we'll run to the to the, to the big new exciting initiative. <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's go. Last time for the Divergent Illustration Group, you guys gave a lot of awesome options and I summarized them into two choices. Number one, a character doing graffiti, or number two, a character standing out uniquely among other characters. And I am proud to say, they graf that the graffiti idea won out 62 to 37%, which I feel like leaves one cent missing. I think YouTube stole the 1%. So that is what I'm gonna start with this fine Wednesday, Thursday. Mm, which day is it? Doesn't, I uh, don't care. <laughs> time flies. Hello, I'm back sketching. This time a raccoon. <laughs> um, somebody in the comments said that when they imagine like a divergent, they imagine a raccoon or, or a different animal. I forgot your name. I'm sorry. I forgot who said it. Um, so I'm trying a raccoon and the other one is an octopus. I'm not exactly certain why. Well, I, I feel like the, I feel like the raccoon really works well because they're kind of, they're kind of sketchy. <laughs> nah, 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 not really sketchy. It's just more like they're a little bit fearless. So they kind of do, they get, they get into places they're not, they're not necessarily supposed to. So I think that works with this whole um, punk idea and also the graffiti idea for this guy. And then, um, yeah. So I, I really, I want to give him more of a, a character style here. So I'm giving him like a leather jacket. But I had kind of a hard time figuring out how I can incorporate as much rojo as possible. So I made like the can red and I gave him a red mohawk. <laughs> and I gave his jacket some red trim. But, um, I mean, the overwhelming color here is black, I guess. So I don't know if it'll be enough for that raccoon. And then the other guy here is the octopus. I don't know if he really <laughs> if he really describes a divergent. Probably not. Um, but I guess he would be because he's the only he's the only octopus that I know of that uh, lives his life on land spray painting things. So I guess he I guess he's the real divergent. He came out of the ocean to explore dry land. We're calling him the Little Mermaid Three. Maybe there's already a Mermaid Three. He is the little octopus maid. <laughs> Okay, and again, I, I wanted to add more red, so I gave him a like a like a band, like a headband that he that he tied around his leg. <laughs> wow, super stylish. I think the color was the most difficult for this octopus guy. I wanted to make him a classic oct octopi color, <laughs> so you can see on the right I have some pinks and some oranges. But um, I actually think octopuses come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. So I gave him kind of a blue because I wanted the red to stand out, a bluish gray. But I don't know. Okay, honey boo boos, with all of my illustration juju, I came up with uh, these options. So there should be two polls for this. Which one do you like more in terms of the character, the raccoon? Or the octopus. And then of course we can have like a 80s rocker punk or the, the more modern backpack hoodie kind of graffiti guy. So then based on what we like, we can switch those ideas around. So let me know in the poll right now. So thank you very much, Kylian Mbappe. On to the film logo. Last time I showed you guys the viewfinder option or the graduate girl option. And the viewfinder went out 61 to 38%. Congratulations, viewfinder. Yay! <laughs> but I actually don't think, I mean, 
I wanted to go for this kind of artsy style, but I don't think it fits very well in terms of like a professional thing. So what we're gonna do is kind of redesign it more in a professional foundation style. So Ben Black says, I think something that could help ground the film design and make it look more professional would be using a heavy sans serif in all caps. Robert Heberling says that he actually prefers the first version that had only one viewfinder. It was easy to recognize and pretty simple. Maybe if under film, it would be possible to write with smaller letters, scholarship foundation. So a big thank you to Ben and Robert, design champions. I think both of those are very grand ideas which we will incorporate. All right, y'all, so I professional-ified it. I wanted to add some color, but the original prompt said no color. Oh, and here it is alongside the last version. So if you have the time, vote in the poll right now, whether you like the new professional-lified version or if you kind of enjoyed the last more artistic version, uh, let me know. <laughs> All right, fat cats, it is now time for the big announcement. Ooh, wait, then pause, let the tension build. I'm now introducing a new thing called Designer Chicken Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> a new show, which will be one time a week, but probably for marketing purposes. It will be called Designer vs. Designer, but shh, we all know it's actually Designer Chicken Chicken. <laughs> so I set up this Google Doc, link in the description below. So it should have all the rules and how it will work. Basically, if you want to be involved in it, you can apply to my email. And then the way it will work is I'm going to choose eight of you design champions to be in this first season of Design Chicken Chicken. Each week, we'll have two designers creating a design for the same prompt. So I'll send that prompt to those two designers. And then those two handsome, beautiful designers will have 48 hours to finish and send back the project to me. But they will also have to screen record their process and their screen recording has to be under 45 minutes. So not only will we see their end product, we will also see their process for making it. I think that'll be really interesting. And we can have a little boop bop of information about the design champions who are partaking. And all of us design champions will vote on, on which designer we think did a little bit better of a job. And then and it's like a King of the Hill format. So at the end of the season, whichever King Chicken has the most consecutive wins will be declared the winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> So this Google Doc has uh, the application deadline, which is September 24th. That's four days. It should take you like 15 minutes to send in an application, but absolutely make sure that you read the entire page so that you don't miss anything. So I hope that at least eight of you awesome possums will want to give this a shot so we can uh, get this thing going. Also, any ideas on the whole concept of design chicken chicken would be super helpful if you wanna leave a comment below. Okay, awesome possums, thank you so much for being here, filling out the polls and being so involved. Really makes me feel like a million doll hairs. Stay awesome possum, I will see you later, alligator, in another video tomorrow morning. Bye guys.